All right, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Here we are heading in to week five of IGL where we are casting a game between Davenport Panthers and Kamik SE Kamikaze. Heading into this game, we are having both teams kind of come in off of a different side of the the sets where SE Kamikaze actually ended up just dropping a game last night going to 0-4. Well, the Davenport Panthers are still undefeated at 4 and 0 coming up in uh to this game. So, they are uh, looking to uh, make sure that they prove they can stay at the top. Well, SC Kamikaze is trying to steal one from them and uh I guess play the Heartbreakers and show they can make a run late into the season. So, starting this off, if you are noticing from past streams, you will see that I am uh, slowly working towards it. I have applied for IGL community caster and I'm uh, trying to slowly but surely get my stream headed in that direction so right now it might be a little bit off but we are indeed heading there and uh, it's good to see you in chat Kumarath so we are heading towards trying to be a community caster for this one but we will uh, be jumping into the lobby and ideally getting uh, the teams in here relatively soon as it is scheduled to start up on the hour So, just getting everything set up here. Let's go, game capture. But yes, Kumaroth, I now also should finally start to have commands where certain ones will go. I don't think I have your uh, very beloved vibe command, but I, I am getting started and I'm trying to... Uh, Trying to head towards it, so we will be seeing with this one, and uh, we're trying to, I guess, learn as we go as a streamer. So here we are, but I'm really happy to be able to try to attempt to do so with uh, IGL, as you can see in the upper commercial. And uh, if you if you have it, I would love to see it. I I guess I'm very uncertain, very new with a lot of them, but I absolutely would love to have that vibe command, as I know it's one of my personal favorites. So. As we see here, SE Kamikaze does join up into this lobby. And now we are just waiting on the Davenport Panthers. And once they get in here, we should be good to kick this one off and uh, start up this week of IGL. But yeah, it's good to be uh, seeing people in chat as always. And it's always nice to be able to cast uh, the likes of a couple of them who kind of got me started and I see Kamikaze were first cast ever with them so obviously don't can't be biased with it but it is always great to be able to cast a team like I see Kamikaze and they are willing to let me cast for them and to the other team thank you very much for saying yes to having a caster it looks like the other team is now joining up so we should be good to go with this one All right, as everyone is loading in, it looks like we do get all the players onto the pitch. So here we go. We will be starting up shortly. As we jump into this one right off the get-go, Hodge and DC Dub take the kickoff. Ends up going right back to Omen as this one goes high. Panda plays off of his backboard. That's going to need to be put to the side by Critter. Critter puts to the side. JK tries to read it off the wall. Not quite there. JK gets a nice quick demo on Critter on the way out. Throws it past center. Omen tries to read the wall. Not quite there. Ends up passing back to beat. Cub and then down the field. Critter tries to read this one. Off the corner to Omen. Omen plays out center, trying to look for JK. JK and Hodge Lives are meeting in front. Hodge Lives ends up winning out on that touch. Omen tries to turn on this and ends up taking it nicely up the wall and stopping Critter's advances. Hodge plays off back wall though and tries to play center as Panda's trying to be there, but JK ends up making the read off the corner side wall. BC Dub plays up for Omen. He plays off back wall and this one shoots out center towards JK, but he's met by Critter. Critter tries to play up field, but Omen turns on that one, and that goes to JK. JK plays up field. That will end up going rolling back to Critter. Critter puts one high, and BC Dub deals with that with the save nicely. And this ends up coming back across in a 50 between Critter and BC Dub, and Hodge Fludge was not able to be there for it, so Omen will take this one. 50s Pandas. It heads back towards the front, but BC Dub plays it out. 
JK hits it sidewall and now goes to Omen. Omen looking up to JK. JK with a quick shot, but Hodge Lodge is there for that one. Omen hits a cross and it looks like it's a little too far to put much pressure on it. Critter will make the read and it plays out to Hodge. Hodge looking for it, trying to make a play on it as Omen meets him and puts it back into the blue half. Panda ends up playing it to the corner. Tries to flick one, doesn't end up beating, it's just 50s towards center and JK takes it, but Critter will clear to the side, tries to play to Hodge. Hodge gets met by VC Dub and he plays up. Omen tries for the high aerial play here, tries to go for one. I feel like that was his teammate that just took him there. And to leave him for a fast break for SE Kamikaze, Critter plays to the corner, had Hodge crossed, but the touch in front was enough to make sure it wasn't there. Critter plays down to Hodge, goes for a quick shot, but Omen was there to read it, but it spits out to Panda, and Panda will be there to put that one back home. So this will start with a 1-0 lead for SC Kamikaze. Looking at it, two minutes into this game, SC Kamikaze up one. Still lots of time to play, three minutes left in this first game, anything can happen. Davenport was looking good on the offense there. Kickoff comes, goes back to Omen. Omen tries to go high, plays off back wall, pinches down, but that one is met by Critter. Goes out center, Hodge Latch plays it, but then JK takes. JK going for a double off the wall, not quite there. Panda and Critter looking like a little bit of miscommunication. Omen plays high, it comes straight down, and he's there for it. He will put that one back home to tie this up. We have a 1-1 game with Omen scoring that one with quick response there as it was just a bit more than three minutes left when SC Kamikaze put theirs. So we'll be playing a 1-1 game with two minutes and 47 seconds left. At the kickoff again, Hodge and Omen meeting. Hodge picks it out, ends up hitting to the other side. BC Dub goes up, but it doesn't quite look like he's put much on that. Panda hits, but looking for Hodge, doesn't quite get him. JK plays off the side wall, Critter will read it. Omen then goes for a touch for center, plays it to center, beats Hodge, but Panda is there for that one. Plays it up high to center, looks like BC Dub and Critter will 50 this one back out to center. Panda and JK will go for that, and it'll bounce off the far one side wall where that is cleared back down the field. Holman with the quick shot, but Hodge is there for that one to make sure that that doesn't end up causing much more trouble. But Holman with the pass across, JK was almost there. Critter was trying to force him with the read though, so I don't know if he necessarily had it. Plays back corner, Hodge plays out center. Goes past both, Hodge looks like he's got an empty net if he can get around it here, and he will. So that will end up being a second goal for SE Kamikaze. This is tier one JDSRL where they are playing tier one right now, SE Kamikaze and Davenport. Davenport is currently undefeated, and SE Kamikaze unfortunately does not have a win yet to this point in the season, but that doesn't mean that can't change here tonight. As we're seeing SE Kamikaze jump out to a 2-1 lead, right off the kickoff goes high, Panda is there for it. Omen with the quick touch though, and a shot that looks very good, but just ends up hitting the far crossbar. Panda takes this one into the orange half, plays out, tries to go up for Hodge. Hodge tries to play it, needs to play high, off the backboard, out to Critter. Omen and Critter, Critter ends up having it put wide with the pressure from Omen. Panda tries to pinch it back out, but ends up unfortunately kind of hitting Critter in a way that, uh, kills their momentum. Hodge sits back on this one, passes out, tries to hit Panda, but wasn't quite there for it. Omen does shoot, and there was an attempted bump in front, but not quite in time. JK with the redirect on that from Omen, and that's going to end up finding the back of the net to tie this one up. 2-2 for Davenport Panthers. So here we go, back in this one. A minute 20 left, and we're back to a similar situation where we've been before. I see Kamikaze and Davenport tied up Going for it right off the kickoff. Critter and JK meet at center field. It goes back lightly. Omen will end up taking that one away. Plays it out, tries to play center. Hodge and JK meet. That's going to be an odd 50 high. Tried met by Critter, but BC Dub just is there for it and ends up dunking that one into the net. That's now going to be a 3 2 lead for the Davenport Panthers over SC Kamikaze with a little bit more than a minute to play. So here we go. Can SC Kamikaze respawn on that one? Panda and BC Dub meeting at the kickoff. This one's going to go to Omen. Hodge charges in there and forces the 50. That's going to end up dropping in the orange corner, but Omen deals with it nicely. Critter tries to play out center, but Omen is there for it. Hodge able to save that one off the wall. As then Panda hits it out for Critter. Critter takes this. Critter has man on looking for the demo. Does get the demo. That leaves it open for Omen. And it looks like the demo fest kind of put a lot of pressure on him. Omen with the air dribble. And that's going to be just enough to get it in there. What an air dribble by Omen as he takes it from within his own half and just starts with a no, low air dribble. But he keeps it up the whole time and ends up beating both, able to beat both defenders off the spawn. 
4-2 lead for Davenport on uh, that. 46 seconds left. Can SC Kamikaze find it within themselves to get two goals here? BC Dub does take that kickoff as it goes back to Critter. Critter tries to go for it. Met off the ceiling by Omen. And then JK plays off back wall. Out to Omen. Omen with the touch across. Critter tries to play back center. Throws it there. But BC Dub and Omen were both ready for it. And then JK will clear the zone for Devonport and will put it in SC Kamikaze's half. But Critter does take it back up the field. Critter tries to put it across. Omen does just pinch that one with its corner and make sure that it doesn't quite go anywhere. That's a threat. JK pushes this one forward and BC Dub tries to play off back wall. Playing down center. Critter with the quick touch out. Looking for it. Omen takes it to the side. Then we have JK taking an air dribble off this one, trying to drop its center a little bit too much on it for that, but BC Dub will get there and play it towards the center. Looks like this game's just going to be killed out with that touch and the demo on Hodge. 4-2 win for Davenport in game one of this one. As we're looking like it should be a competitive series if play continues like it did in that game. Really looking like a great start to this one with uh, game one being as close as it was, a lot of back and forth. So ideally, here we go where we can... Uh, Get it where we play this back and uh, have more good Rocket League like that where it's really on both teams playing well. All right, back in this one for game two. Panda and BC Dub meet at the kickoff. Panda looks like he takes this one, tries the 50. Doesn't necessarily 50 that well as it goes to the blue side corner. And BC Dub will fire a shot across, but will end up hitting crossbar. And it looks like Critter and BC Dub are in that net, but not quite in a rule one. Or someone broke it, one of those. So, as we see this play across, playing in the orange side half, JK quick takes it off the sidewall. Throws it across, back to the front of the net. Critter with the quick touch. Omen will take that one on out, and then Panda will take it across. Looking for the wall play here as he pinches it, but JK is there to make the read on it. Hodge ends up going up for this one. And putting it to the side. Critter plays. It's going to come back down center, and that one's going to be met by Panda. Panda with the quick shot, but JK with the save. Make sure that that one does not find the back of his met. Critter hits high, gets bumped, will not be able to put another one on this one. So Omen takes it. Hodge tries to play it towards the side wall, but is met by... Is met and then BC Dub takes it across the field. Hodge Lodge plays out center in a risky manner. Critter is up for it. JK gets the touch. Omen was trying for the redirect on the tight angle. Not quite there, but it will go out to BC Dub. But Hodge Lodge is there for the challenge. He takes it, but it does go out to JK. JK up to Omen. Omen with a quick touch back down to JK. Shoots out far side over to BC Dub. He tries to take off wall. He's going high with this one. Just playing it center. Panda was able to get a touch on it, but not quite in the right direction for the net. This pops up high and just keeps staying high as everyone keeps somehow 50 in the air. As we're seeing there, Critter and then keep going for it, making plays. Panda tries to play across center as it drops a little bit off to the side of the net, play it high from BC Dub. Hodge Lodge meets it. Critter goes for a touch on it with a quick flick, tries, beats one, doesn't quite get past Omen though. But that does go back, bounce out for a chance for Panda, and Panda will convert on this one with the pass from Critter out of the corner to make sure that uh, SC Kamikaze does once again jump out to a 1-0 lead. This time a little bit later into the game. Actually, it's not that much later. It's only about 5 seconds later than the first game. But uh, we do see SC Kamikaze once again jump off to a 1-0 lead in this one. Off to kickoff. BC Dub takes it high. It's met by Hodge Lodge and he ends up playing it back down. Omen oh, going for it. Going for the air dribble play. Not quite able to do much with it. Omen gets demo. Critter, Critter takes the ball to the corner. Critter tries to play out center. And with that, it jumps across to Omen. Omen with the quick air dribble. Not quite able to convert on it. Co does come back down to BC Dub, but Critter does meet that one nicely. BC Dub plays across for Omen. Omen to the front of the net. Tries to read it himself. Not quite getting it. Hodge Lodge back across. Panda's there for it. And he will just end up tapping that one home as it looks like Davenport did kind of send the house at that one. And then it was just... A quick passing play where, honestly, if Critter doesn't get the touch on that one, you're probably looking at a goal for Davenport. But it ends up going the way of SC Kamikaze there. So, 2-0 lead for SC Kamikaze in this second game. 
Once again, back to the kickoff pan and BC dub. This one will go to Omen. Omen going high, going for a flip reset off the wall. And Manor doesn't quite look like he gets it, but it does drop down to BC dub. But what a save by Panda as he gets it like last second off the crossbar to make sure that that one's not quite in and they can retain their two goal lead. Omen takes it, goes high, tries to play towards the corner. As Critter will push it, but it is read by BC dub. Hodge Lodge will hit out center and Critter is able to take on this one. Critter going for a quick flick, not able to beat JK. JK reads it but gets demoed in the process. As BC dub now returns the favor with the demo and now it's Panda playing in the corner. Panda versus Omen and Omen plays it slow but not quite as Panda is there for the challenge and up for the task. Critter tries to play this one upfield. Red by JK puts it back down to BC dub. BC dub puts this high as a shot on net but Critter is there for that one. And then the demo comes across to get a little extra pressure. Is that enough to push Davenport over the top here? Omen takes out of the corner with the pass over with quick shot from BC Dub, but not quite there. And it's taken back down to the orange half. Critter into the corner, but now taken by Omen. Omen looking for a flick play. Hodge sits on it. Hodge tries to meet, but is 50 by JK. And this is coming out towards center. BC Dub is being met by Critter. Critter with the quick pinch back out towards the center. Gets demo by Omen. Panda with a quick touch across trying to meet Hodge. But Hodge is met by BC Dub. And this does pinch back towards the net. Omen fires a shot but doesn't quite go on. But that will end up causing havoc as it goes in front of the net. And a misread there from the defense. And then the pass from Omen out to BC Dub will end up causing a goal. This one does end up being like a comeback for Davenport where they are 2-1 to one in. Can they get that last goal or even two to possibly take this game and take it back from Kamikaze as Kamikaze put up too early. 53 seconds left to tell. Kickoff goes Hodge's favor. He plays down center. Panda is there, but he is met well. And then it's played back out. Hodge tries to make a play on it, but BC does well, deals with this well to keep it in the corner. Omen is met meeting Panda up in the air. Quick demo by BC Dub can probably get rid of a bit of this pressure, but Hodge tries to play out at the center line. And he ends up playing across and does find Critter in the long run. Hodge tries to put back up field to Critter, and Critter was able to turn on that one, and that will end up being a 3 1 lead for SC Kamikaze in this one. Can SC Kamikaze hold on to make this an even series? As I am also realizing now that I uh, didn't put up the uh, orange win for game one. But we are still here and we're watching. As Devonport has a 1-0 lead. But Kamikaze looking to answer back. And right off the kickoff. That one ends up going in SC Kamikaze's favor. And that will probably end up sealing this one for SC Kamikaze. You can't ever be for certain. As crazier, crazier things have happened. But... 16 seconds and a three goal lead feels relatively safe as long as you're able to play it well enough and miracles don't happen. Looks like there might be, I don't know if it's problems or just a quick breakout omen for that, but uh, we, uh, we'll be looking into that after this one as no one ended up going there for kickoff on Davenport. Panda play is out of the uh, corner and ends up getting the read back to himself and puts this one home to make it a 5-1 game. So it is looking like SE Kamikaze will be taking this second game. Kick off up high. JK meets it, puts it out to center. His omen puts it down, and that kills it for game two. All right, getting the all goods on this one to make sure that we are good to go back into the gameplay as we're setting up for game three here. Davenport versus SC Kamikaze right off the bat. Oh my, my bad on that one. I am supposed to be in spectator. Should not cause any problems in the lobby, ideally. There we go. I did not, I was the last one to go. <laughs> as that plays out, right off the kickoff, out to Panda. Panda plays high. As that one then ends up coming back down. Omen with a quick pass across to JK. Not quite able to get it. As Critter reads that one and takes it over. Critter looking for the play out of the corner. With the pass down to Panda. Good passing play. But JK had the read on that one fully. Good defense there. Omen hits high trying to get the touch. Does get a touch out towards the center. But Critter is there to deal with that. JK ends up soft touch. 
Panda does make a read on it, forcing BC Dub to make a save, and he is for the task. Omen with the quick pass, pass across to JK. JK hits this one, and then him and Panda end up 50ing, and it's bouncing in front of the blue net right now, but Hodge Lodge is taking and playing out, but it's playing out to kind of no man's land, and Omen hits back off the board. Omen with a soft touch to open up the net. BC Dub with a quick shot, but SC Kamikaze is able to jump back fast enough as Panda does get in front of that one. Still seeing this end up in front of the net. Omen with the quick play. Taking it once again, trying for the center. Panda meets him and plays it out wide, but BC Dub is sitting on that one. Panda plays out center to JK. Omen with the quick touch across all the way to the far side of the net, but no one's quite there to reach it. JK with the quick play almost beats it off of Hodge's touch even. BC Dub with the play across, almost 50s in the far pipe, not quite there. Omen with the read. This is a scramble in front of SC Kamikaze's net as Critter gets a quick touch out to the, to the midfield. JK plays high up for BC Dub. BC Dub looking for the touch. Hodge is there to try to make, get a touch on this one quick and he does. He puts it to the side. Omen with the shot. Critter with the touch out to make sure he gets a save on that one and Hodge will finally clear this to the orange half for SC Kamikaze. And they are taking possession. Hodge with it back up against his own half again with the touch to beat BC Dub, but Omen is there for it, but gets played by Critter as Critter plays this back down the field. Trying to look for a quick touch towards the center, but Omen is reading that one and it's not on Panda. Omen plays off the far corner, going for the read out to JK, and JK will put that one home to give Davenport a 1-0 lead in this game with a little bit more time than the last game even. Off the clock as we're seeing the first goal come off and right around that three minute mark in this series. But so much uh, chaos is happening in these games right now. Hodge and BC Dub meet up at that center line. Kickoff goes into a 50. Omen plays back out towards the center, but Hodge Lodge reads it and puts it far side. BC Dub, though, plays back across, but Panda is sitting there on that one. Fires one downfield, but JK is there sitting on it. Makes the read. Jumps back out. BC Dub was going for it. Gets a bump on Hodge to at least make sure that he alleviates some of the pressure in the moment. Omen plays up field as JK ends up taking this one. Tries to go off that side wall. Looks like it's just a hard read to make right there. Omen's taking it, looking for the pass out center, trying to find BC Dub. He does find BC Dub, but Panda is there for the save and ends up making that one just in time. Shoots back out. JK plays this one high off back wall. Critter and Panda try to meet it. Goes out playing out. Omen with the touch back to center, and JK is there for that one. And they will end up scoring again with that pass from Omen back to the center. Quite the show of uh, aerial display with the air rolls on that one to make sure he's still able to get the pass to the center. Quite a display of skill. As we go, Essie Kamikaze down two to Davenport. Two minutes left. This kickoff will go back. BC Dub going high. Tries to get the dunk on Hodge. Not quite there for it, but Omen goes high. He goes for a double and it's not yet there. But BC Dub is sitting on it and JK is there, but Critter is able to push this one out to the side. He is taking the ball, trying to go out towards center. Omen meets him with the pass right back to Critter real quick. Pops it back up. Can Panda get there for it? BC Dub makes the read just in time to make sure that Panda cannot put any threat on this one. It's played back to the corner by Critter. Critter tries to hit this one across, looking for it. Soft touch off the back wall into Hodge. Soft touch. Critter's not able to quite get around that one, so then come back out. Omen with the play on this one. Hits across for JK. JK takes out of the corner, up and high, looking for the pass play again. Tries to drop it, and Omen comes in, and just like a T there, JK tees it up for Omen, and he does finish it. He ends up putting that one right into the corner of the net. Really good passing play on the aerial right there, where Davenport is just converting really well in front of uh, SE Kamikaze's net this game. Back to the kickoff, this one goes back to Hodge. Hodge goes for Panda, but BC Dub makes the read on it. Hodge ends up playing across the Critter, but BC Dub is there. He gets a touch. Critter with a soft touch that goes back to Hodge. Critter tries to play off the wall, but doesn't quite get there as JK will take this one and turn on it. Watches as Panda goes by, making the slow play on it. Still almost causing some havoc in front of SC Kamikaze's net, but met well by Critter. BC Dub plays this one back across. Going for almost looking like a pancake. He did have the reset if he would have got it. JK with the shot, but Panda is there for the task on the goal line save. As Omen goes back up high and looking for this one. 
trying to put more d a display of mechanics out there yet again. As we're seeing it, once again, play back out. Panda is uh, trying to take it, but Omen meets him. Omen takes it into the orange half, and the Critter meets. JK goes for the play, and then it's bumped by Critter as Panda plays back out, and Critter does get a touch on this one to go to the wall. And then we're looking at it. Omen plays with Critter at 50s into the far corner where Hodge is sitting. Hodge takes it. Not able to do too much with it, but Panda then tries to throw it back center. But uh, then it was well met. JK looking at this with a little bit of time left. They're going for a pinch all the way across. That's probably looking like where it'll about end, but it's staying up. Is anyone going to do anything with this one? Critter plays back towards center. Omen not quite able to keep it up there, but... Uh, 3-0 game wouldn't have made too much of a difference at the end of that one, but uh, you never know. It can always lead for some fun zero-second goals. So as we see here, Davenport do take a game two and uh, putting it on the line for a uh, game three uh, match point where if they do end up winning this one, they will take the series. Otherwise, SE Kamikaze, can they fight back and make it go the whole, the whole nine yards and give us a game five? All right, as we are back into this one, <clears throat> so I will not click auto this time. I will click spectate because that was a mistake last time. <laughs> but uh, back into it for game uh, game four in this series. Essie Kamikaze won the Panthers with two games right now. Starting back out, BC Dub plays Panda meets, and JK sits on it. Critter tries to play out the corner and doesn't quite have Panda staying there on it. So it goes towards center, but Panda does turn on that and ends up getting a touch that forces a little bit of a response out of Davenport. But that will then end up bouncing down to Omen. Omen flicks one, but Panda is there for the read. But then JK with the soft touch back up to Omen. If he can get around it, doesn't quite have the touch on it in order to ensure a goal in this situation. But JK does play back out. Omen with the soft touch doesn't quite get an opening for BC Dub, but it did fall to him. BC Dub plays high to JK, and this one's put then to the far corner. Panda tries to turn on it. BC Dub puts it back center. Should be Hodge's ball, but Omen 50s well. Omen takes his 50 to the corner and tries to play high. Is met once again by Hodge. Hodge tries to play on it, but JK is, says, No, this is mine. I will be taking that. So Critter ends up falling back to the corner after that save. Playing back down. Orange half. Looking for the plan, not quite able to get to that one, so Omen will take it with the clear. Omen trying to make a play as Critter's trying to force him off ball there. Hodge plays to the orange side, and JK will take this one going high. Met by Critter, though, in the corner as this bounces down and out, but Omen does reach it to make sure that it pushes far enough out. It's not an immediate problem. BC Dub pushes back towards the center, but Critter is there to re deal with it. Omen takes this one back off the wall, going for a quick touch off the corner, but Panda is sitting there ready for it. Panda going high, looking for a read, and ends up being just taken by BC Dub as he ends up doubling back down towards the center. Hodge and Omen 50 this one, and in the far orange corner. As uh, play continues, and we have Panda pushing him back down towards BC Dub. Panda trying to take a touch, not quite. Critter and BC Dub waiting on it. Omen with a quick play to unwound Panda and Panda with the play out which ends up Hodge trying to 50 center tries to play this one high towards Critter Critter with the uh, play back to Hodge and then Orange takes as Omen takes to the far corner BC Dub off the wall playing high in center Hodge Lodge is there to read with that one but unwound Panda's touch gets taken away by Omen as this goes back to the corner Critter plays out JK off the wall, ends up taking it quick, looking for the play with a quick pinch out back. BC Dub with the shot and that will beat SE Kamikaze's defense, giving Davenport a 1-0 lead in this game four. Back with the kickoff, Critter ends up going, hits it, but JK takes it. They go up, try to find Omen, and it is causing some problems, but Hodge Lodge does push that to the side nicely. Flicks it up the field. 
It looks like it will be between Hodge and Omen. It's Omen sitting on the side wall there. Hodge with the quick flick, but Omen deals with it, and JK takes. I said JK takes, but it looks like there might have been some confusion in that play as Critter plays it, tries to play back across, not quite there for it, plays it back high, and ends up being dealt with by JK as he plays out to BC dub. That ends up going back off to the side for Omen and then Hodge. Hodge tries to play as it goes center towards Critter, and Critter makes play on it, but JK gets the touch. Critter plays back down center. And Panda goes into the corner for this one. Throws it off the backside wall. Omen with a quick and elusive flick out. And it looks like it's actually enough to beat everyone on SE Kamikaze. As he ends up getting back to that one. And it just seems like SE Kamikaze wasn't ready for him to end up getting there. And we're kind of shocked by the second touch. And honestly, I kind of was too. The mechanics to get that second touch. He's been on today with them. So, he's been going and making the plays. Back to the face off circle. SC Kamikaze needs two, but that redirect by BC Dub right off the kickoff with, with Omen and uh, Critter ends up being enough to put a third goal in. So this will give Davenport a little comfort lead here in, uh, in game four where they can possibly close out the series. We need to see a bit of a run by SC Kamikaze if they're uh, going to be able to pull this one back as they're down three with a minute and a half left. Panda right off the kickoff. BC Dub with the smart demo to make sure he can't get around that one and shoot. Hodge Lodge plays to the corner to Critter. Critter tries to play center out to Hodge, but BC Dub is there and ready for the touch. He ends up beating Panda to it and plays out towards center. Going for it with a quick shot towards the net, but Critter meets that one well. And then we have Omen taking this off the sidewall yet again. Looking for it. Going for the flip reset. In a, into the play, not quite enough to get there with it, but it was a creative like, start to the play. Hodge flicks one, tries to go back out towards center, but BC Dub is sitting there on it. JK with a soft touch down, and that will go to Omen. Omen was trying for, I'm not sure if it was a musty or a breezy, but he was going for it. And he's trying to put on a display of mechanics in this one. And this one plays back out. And we have it where Panda and Critter end up getting beat by Omen, and Omen gets to flick over Critter as that one will end up falling back into the net. And at this point, you probably think it's... uh. Davenport closing off the series here in 40 seconds. But can we at least see SE Kamikaze get one back or uh, make some good plays to pull this game a uh, little tighter and show more of the closeness that we have seen earlier in this series as it really has been an interesting and intense series at this point. This ball goes up high. Hodge Lodge takes it. Looking for it. Looking for Critter. Hits Critter with the pass. And they do respond quick. Ending up with 29 seconds on the clock for three more. If you score that fast, it makes you question. Because it definitely is possible. So uh, it is something where uh, Davenport can't just quite give up yet. But uh, they are looking to close out this series here with still a three-goal lead in 29 seconds. But we did just see SE Kamikaze score one relatively fast off that kickoff. But this kickoff goes back to JK. JK is going high with it with a quick touch off the ceiling. Omen ends up winning the race to it. BC Dub with the shot. Looks like it's going to end up with a pass actually over to JK. As JK gets the redirect over Hodge Lodge as he was kind of put in an awkward spot there. He needs to end up getting a lucky touch. But JK just had a good redirect. And he actually hit it back to BC Dub. So BC Dub gets the goal on this one. Back to the kickoff circle. I see Davenport up four with 17 seconds left. Still just looking for good gameplay overall, though, to finish this one off. JK with the shot. Panda with the good save. BC Dub up to Omen. Omen flicks it, but ends up getting a pipe with that one and not quite enough to convert. Back off the sidewall, but that one's taken by JK into the SE half. Omen with the shot, but it goes just wide, and that's how it looks like we're going to end this one. As SE Davenport will end up as uh, Davenport Panthers. <laughs> Getting my names mixed up there. Davenport Panthers will uh, end up closing out this series and taking a three three to one victory. Honestly, was a really good series. You got to see a lot of offensive moments from both teams and a lot of good passing plays, good display of mechanics. It really was a series that it's it's just anyone's game, and it's just today it ended up going towards the Panthers where they kind of took it and. Uh, Ran with their chances a little bit better and had a bit more moments of pressure. So, as you can see, it, it's really great Rocket League kind of going on in the community. And it's nice to get to see games like this. So, as we kind of close this one out, I will end up saying GG's to all. Thank you all for letting me cast this. And uh, ideally, you guys have a great rest of your nights.
So uh, that's where we will finish this one off with the Panthers taking a win over Kamikaze and putting themselves still at an undefeated mark. Well, I see Kamikaze will be looking for their first win in a week to come. So here we go. Have a great rest of your nights. And uh, as uh, Pudding Puff said, much love. Have a great one.